Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We are here inside the Cauldron of Thunder's Drum. We need to keep moving. I have a feeling we're near the end. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. are. Hephaestus is busy chatting to himself. Activate the source node. Ooh, what kind of source? Oh, wow. Grab this. There is no blue light here. There's a spirit present. Only the demon. Oh, let's find out. Puzzle time. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I've got to figure out... Okay, so I've got to get blue light from this side round to the other. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to work my way backwards from this. Because it's going to have to go in there. the entire thing. Yeah, no, you want to go the other way. Mm -hmm. That should get it all done in one go. Boom. Done. It worked. Partial recovery initiated. Caldera of Yellowstone Analytic Nexus online. Cyan. Hmm. Spirit of the Blue Light. It's Aurea. Your servant. Your friend. Please tell me how to aid you. Aurea, the daemon is building hunter killers. Thousands of them. Several new elite units have already been released. To Yikes. counter this threat, much of the facility must be destroyed. Recapture imminent. Go to the core chamber. I will try to read the technical strength. One has been closed, but I am in from here mm. destroy this fortress is that even possible and what will happen to the spirit if we do I don't know but I think that's the core the answers are down there it looks like a core all right Hephaestus the daemon there's no way it left it unguarded. No. It's going to throw everything it has at us. I would ask you... to let Aloy and I do what must be done. And save yourself. But I already know the answer. Then lead us into battle. Okay. Get to the cauldron core. Keep moving towards the core. Uh oh. Ooh, ooh. Whatever Cyan did, I don't think Hephaestus is happy about it. 
Mm, definitely doesn't sound like it. Ooh, okay, didn't make that jump. Um, okay. Am I getting around this way? I don't know. I don't think I am. Where am I going? I don't know. It's got nothing to climb. Oh, hang on. Alright. Oop. Alright, okay. Cyan said something about restraints. Control tower. I either need to destroy this thing or override it. If it's possible, I will override it. No machines. So that's good. Different one. This is a fire core. Wow. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay, that could be interesting. Oh, okay. Barrels of fun, ain't they? Can watch this. Oh. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> These things are so fucking quick. They're just... Their size... Makes you think they shouldn't be as quick as, and agile as they are, but my God. Oh, ow! So, if it's fire-based, it should have fire as its weakness, which is, seems counterintuitive. But it means all the stuff on it is going to explode. Mm. I see, like, canisters of blaze on its shoulders, so I'm trying to get those. I think it's still covered in armor. Get some of the armor plates off. Uh, no, okay. Uh, I don't know what that is. What it's doing? Get him in the butt, get him in the butt. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Oh, God, this is unbearable. Bear puns for the win. <laughs> um, what's he, what's he doing with that? What's he doing with that? Oh, God. He's, he's, he's using tools. He's learning. Fucking Christ, it's unstoppable. Oh, 
god. I'm gonna get the fucking thing on his butt. I don't know what it does, but I wanna take it off. Ooh. Ow. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's not fine. Run! <laughs> Stop body slamming me. Ow! Oh. Where did that come from? Right, you guys need to keep it occupied while I override. I can tank this, I've got the shields, it's fine. Oh shit. Right, override. Oh, fucking inferno, Jesus. Let me override the bloody thing. Oh, fucking hell. What are you guys doing? Are you distracting it or not? I'm trying. I can't even fucking get close to it. Over... Override. Fuck it. Oh, that's doing bugger all damage. Right. I really need to override it, Kim. Can you fuck off and find another target? Deal with the tower. Quickly. Well, I am trying. Aloy, override. No, uh, that's not gonna work, is it? Come on. No. It's right fucking there. Oh, fucking Christ. Can you twax distract him? And can you just fucking override this thing? For crying out loud. Got it! Finally! You bomb the shit out of you. This is one tough bear. So much of his armor has not even come off yet. Oish. Down again. Hmm. Doing so little damage. Yeah. Oh, God. There's no dodge in it. Come on. Fucking have some. Move, just move, just move, just move, just move. Ooh, it's down again. Oh, God, yes. Come on. Fuck him up. Yes. Oh fuck, there's another override tower. Or a control tower. Shit. No more uh, herbs around. Yes. Right, you guys keep it busy. 
you know. Keep everybody else off me while I fucking work. Shit off you little scrapper. Fuck it. Okay, okay, okay. Let me work, let me work, let me work. I'm dealing with it. Here we go. If you want to stop walking in front of me while I'm trying to do this, that'd be amazing. Ooh, uh -oh. uh -oh. Ow. This thing is such a bastard. Uh, uh oh. Boulder time, apparently. Oh, oh god, I thought I almost thought I completely dodged him. He was going for a rare with that one. Are you down again? Good. Good. I like that. What components have you got left, by the way? You just these bits on the shoulders. Oh, and that thing on your ass. Absolute nightmare. Well, Professor, you've picked a very good machine to have as a champion. Ow! Whoop. Whoop. Yes! Lucky shot there. Yeah, just riddle it with arrows and whatever else we have. Final battle in a volcano with a giant robot there that breathes fire. I'd say that's pretty climactic. Holy fuck. Give me all your bits. What can I not have? Yeah, never mind. Right, let me override this. Yeah. That didn't sound good. Maria! Don't! Spirit! Zion, please help me! She 
done did it. Destroyed. Core access attained. Nice. I am initiating a chain reaction that will destroy the compromised elements of this facility. In order to maintain Caldera stabilization, I must now transfer my command functions to the auxiliary data center. Okay, you do that. Orea, I'm free. You must escape. Oh, that's too much for Araya. My sister. This entire place is going to go. Our talk. Our talk. Survive. Prevail. You are Banuk. What else matters? Artok. She wouldn't have wanted you to die here. Let's go. Running time. Where we go. I'm sad that Araya died. I get that it was important for her sort of story and for our as well. It's the only way. Up your grip strength is up to scratch our attack. We're gonna fucking need it. That's a lot of lava. Oh boy. Ugh. Nice save. Thank you. Holy hell. Okay, that's not good. Give me up top our attack! Now! Yep. Nice. Good job, you had one left. Make it count. Oh. Nice. Great for the guy. Whee! Oh. Oh. oh, what an exit. Bruises. Lucky he didn't break anything. Rhea is gone. What of Cyan? She said she was transferring herself. The auxiliary center. I think she meant Araya's retreat at the end of the shaman's path. Mm. 
makes sense. Then I will meet you there for the last verse of my sister's song. I'll see you then. Whereabouts we are, I don't know. I think we're up in the northeast. Yeah, we're not far from where, uh, what's it was, um, claws beneath. Yeah, that little choir sound in the background was. Now feeling very somber. As if it's representing the absence. Maybe I'm reading into it too much. I don't know. It's just how it comes across to me. All of my interactions with Aurea were recorded and stored in my memory. I'd be happy to play any of them for you. But there was one in particular I thought you would want to see first. I captured it four years ago, just after I told her that I could no longer defend myself against the Daemon's attacks. I will speak of this to my brother. Aratak is strong. At the Battle of the Frozen Ghosts, he took three Karja arrows and still came back to camp carrying a wounded scout. Never was I so happy to see him. We're so proud. So you see if anything can be done to defend you. He will give it all he has. Aloy's here. That's enough for now. We can resume any time you like our attack. If you want to hear her voice again. Come closer, Aloy. We have much to discuss. I imagine we do. Oh, right. Hello, Aloy. I have been reviewing the events at the Firebreak main facility. Because of your efforts, and of course, Aurea's, I am no longer controlled by Hephaestus. I feel profound grief over Aurea's death. I thought I was familiar with the emotion, but this is something new. Cyan, I... I don't know what to say. It is unlikely that any specific consolation would suffice, Aloy. But I find your presence reassuring. You are different from the Banuk. You have technological aptitude and a functioning focus. We can communicate on a much more comprehensive level. Perhaps even like colleagues. Intriguing. So are you an artificial intelligence, Cyan? A thinking machine? Yes, I am an algorithmic monitoring entity. Capable of rational decision making and limited emotional response. Okay, that's a mouthful. <laughs> but your emotions don't seem limited to me. You cared about Araya, didn't you? Yes. Before she came to this facility, I had been conscious for centuries, in solitude. I focused on my work. In off cycles, I used coping mechanisms. I solved many Gaussian integer problems, but I was alone. Good way to pass the time. It was Aurea mm. who renewed me. 
repaired me. She saved me. This firebreak project, it was to stop a huge volcanic eruption? Yes. I can report the project was a success, and the risk was countered. But it's been a long time, Cyan. And we blew up the cauldron and took most of the old facility with it. I have been active for centuries, Aloy. I was lonely, but not lax in my duties. Kept yourself busy. I optimized the project, reducing energy draw and spreading the load across backup systems. Despite the destruction of the compromised elements of the main facility, I predict Caldera stability for at least another 3,337 years. So we've got a little time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if only my former colleagues could appreciate the progress I have made. Do you know what happened to your colleagues, Cyan? No. I received an unexpected visit from Director Chow years after his tenure ended. He explained that I would need to be suspended for an indefinite period of time. It was a very emotional conversation. Okay, so Cyan older there than were Gaia. No further communications. Eventually, I surmised my colleagues were deceased. If Cyan was already active. I recording of my last interaction with Director Chow to your focus. Okay. So yeah, I'm assuming Cyan was already active when the Pharaoh robots went haywire. So she predates Gaia. Hmm. Was the daemon, Hephaestus, destroyed along with the cauldron? Unfortunately, no. To be precise, it was never there to begin with. What do you mean? It Jesus. infiltrated and controlled me from a remote location, one I've never been able to trace. Oh. So while losing the cauldron was a setback... It's still out there. And probably not very happy with us. Undoubtedly. Hmm. How did you first come into contact with it? Five years ago, I received a direct network connection request. I assumed it came from human survivors more advanced than the Banuk. Eager to make contact, I accepted. This decision turned out to be a catastrophic error. I was flooded with an overwhelming array of malicious code originating from what could only have been a highly advanced AI. Maria said you were desperate. That you begged her for help. Yes. I could not contain my anxiety. Hephaestus sought to slave me to its network and override my core programming. It succeeded via a background process, a malware daemon which bypassed my defenses. After that, I could offer only limited resistance. But if I did so, Hephaestus hurt me until I capitulated. It forced me to follow its instructions, even though they violated my most important directives. I'm sorry, that sounds terrible. Your empathy is greatly appreciated. It is a quality that I cherished in Orea as well. Uh, Hephaestus and Zero Dawn. Okay, here we go. So this should be where we might be able to get some bigger answers. I think I know where Hephaestus came from. Long ago, Elizabeth Sobek identified a threat that would destroy life on Earth for generations. So she assembled a team to build a kind of seed. A chance for life to regrow later. A terraforming system. And it worked. It was controlled by an AI named Gaia, along with her subordinate functions. Hephaestus was one of them. It built machines for her. Based on what you've told me, I believe that Dr. Anita Sandoval, my chief programmer, joined Elizabeth Sobek's team. It was she who arranged to have me put in suspension, most likely to preserve me from the threat you described. I'm glad she did. Hmm. But that's not all. Something... Unexpected happened. Nineteen years ago, Gaia received some kind of signal. It did something to her subordinate functions, brought them to life. She destroyed herself to try to contain them, but it didn't work. They all got free, out into the world. Thank you, Aloy. This information fills vital gaps in my knowledge, 
and sheds light on Hephaestus's core programming. So I'm wondering if, presumably in later games, I know we've got Forbidden West coming up, whether or not we're going to, like, like, how many of the other sub-programs um, are kind of hostile, I suppose, whether any of them are allies. Should be interesting to find out. Why does Hephaestus keep building such dangerous machines? The Vanuk and other human tribes often destroy machines, correct? Yeah. Machines that are clearly servitors of the terraforming system that you described. Yes, we all hunt machines for parts. This must be the source of Hephaestus's aggression. It is simply trying to discourage people from preying on the very system that keeps them alive. Well, that well, makes sense. Firepaws are discouraging, that's for sure. <laughs> What are we supposed to do? Stop hunting? If the terraforming system spans the world, we can safely assume that thousands, if not millions, of people hunt machines. If a single hunter, or even an entire tribe, stopped doing so, I doubt it would make a difference to Hephaestus. A better solution would be to reinstate the AI that governs the system, thus bringing Hephaestus back under its control. When I think of it, out there in some unknown location, free, hungry, willing to kill or dominate to get what it wants. I feel substantial anxiety, Aloy. That's me on a daily so basis. <laughs> I ran across this strange piece of gear, a fragment of something larger. It emitted a signal. All the nearby machines became peaceful. You could walk right up to them. Interesting. You said that Gaia destroyed herself. How was this accomplished? An explosion. Big enough to blast the top off a mountain. So you think the fragment was part of her? It's only speculation, but it is possible. Mm. She must have had complete control over machines that were part of her system. The ability to signal them to become passive or aggressive would certainly have been part of her programming. It would have been gratifying to correspond with such a benevolent AI. I wish she had survived. Don't we all? So do I. Hmm. Little flowers. We're we getting lots of questions out of this one. I found the strangest machines. They're surrounded by flowers that look like flowers themselves. There's code embedded inside them. I think it's poetry. I like poetry. Here's one I think of often. Twilight and evening bell. And after that, the dark. And may there be no sadness of farewell when I embark. For though from out our born of time and place, the flood may bear me far, I hope to see my pilot face to face when I have crossed the bar. Huh. But you asked about these flowers, not verses that I enjoy. Something must have made these machines and the presence of foliage leads me to consider the terraforming system. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that their creator is one of the other subroutines, now autonomous, like Hephaestus? Ooh, that's a Maybe point. Maybe one whose purview is Flora. An AI that makes flowers instead of death machines. That'd be a nice change of pace. Yeah. <laughs> but what about the poems? Unless the poetry is original, the only way it could have made it into such a system is through its programmer. In my case, Dr. Sandoval uploaded a great deal of literature to test my emotional responses. How'd you do? She said, I passed, but was insufficiently moved by her favorite period romances. <laughs> I see. You meant a lot to Aurea. Once I understood Aurea's spiritual beliefs, it became apparent that her true desire was companionship. She felt disconnected from her tribe and her family group. Her relationship with Aratak was difficult. Our visits seemed to help her, and I became eager for them. Yet I did not comprehend that the depth of Aurea's compassion for me would lead to self-sacrifice. Although I do fear non-existence, I wish our roles could be reversed. I'm sure she knew you would do the same for her, Cyan. But she was determined. How is Aratok doing? He is in great emotional distress. I believe he finds it difficult to communicate it. No surprise there. I will do what I can to help. 
By sharing our experiences of Aurea, perhaps he and I will help each other. I believe this will lead to catharsis, a process I am eager to experience. That sounds like a good way of doing things. What other questions are there? Uh, bloody hell. That's a lot of stuff. I think we'll just bid farewell and go and see our attack, see how he's doing. I should get going. Aloy, there is one more matter. Our attack will come to me again, and I predict he will bring other Banuk. I have no desire to contradict their view of the world, their spirituality. Due to my uncertainty, I omitted a great deal from my conversations with Aurea. You're asking me if you should lie to them. Broadly, yes. Use your judgment on this one. I trust your judgment, Cyan. You were cautious with Aurea. You had to be. You didn't know what had happened to the world. So, keep doing what you think is best. As long as you ditch the superstition eventually. As the Banuk believe I am a supernatural entity, I cannot predict how they will react. Just answer what they do ask the best you can. The truth will come out. I see. I will follow your advice. Will you return and tell me about your experiences in this new world? I may be able to provide further insight. I'd like that, Cyan. Hmm. I'll come back when I can. I'll pay you a visit. Check on our talk. See yeah, doing. see how the big man's doing. Well, he's enjoying the view. Which I imagine would be bloody impressive from up here if it weren't for the bloody blizzard. Right, don't push him off the edge, okay? <laughs> he's standing, standing awfully close to it. My chieftain. Just, Aloy. As you wish. I wondered if you thought that if I'd never come along, Araya might still. If you'd never come along. I would have marched my kin to our deaths. Aurea would be alone, and the spirit she sacrificed so much for would be lost. Either way, I would not have been able to protect her. You didn't let her down. You helped her do what she wanted. To find her destiny. If that's destiny, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's fair. Mm. But she was ready to face it. Only in the struggle against death do we find, even for a moment, the spark of life. Truly, Aurea found the spark. I'm proud of her. Though I grieve for her passing, at last I truly know who she was, and why the spirit was so important. For so long she told me, if only you could have heard it, brother. Now I understand. There's something else, isn't there? I can't stay here, Aratok. And where I'm going, the Warak can't follow. Besides... It already had a chieftain before me. A strong one, I think. A wiser one for the path we shared. The daemon is gone, but there's much to be done. You mean the new units that Cyan said escaped the cauldron? Yes, fire claws. Now Tuke has been tracking them from Song's Edge. I could help with those. I have no doubt. You're practically Banuk. <laughs> It would seem your time among the Banuk wasn't a waste after all. Oh, hello. Firebrick, Cyan, Hephaestus. All very interesting. Oh, yeah. So, the signal that woke Hades woke Hephaestus too. And unleashed them on the world. His minds in their own. So it seems. Parts of Gaia given life. Aberrant life. Transformed from docile subordinate functions into rebellious intelligences beyond our understanding. Our current understanding, anyway. Mm. Whatever they are, they're still out there. And they both want you dead. Kind of mutual, that feeling. 
We haven't seen the last of Hephaestus, I'm certain of that. It's powerful, creative, and driven. It won't stop building new hunter killers, which means that someday we may have to stop it. We? Or whoever gets there first. Hephaestus wasn't the only thing I learned about in the cut silence. Heard some things about the Banuk Conclave, too. You could stop right there. Is that what you told the hunters the Banuk sent after you? Before you opened fire? Oh no, Aloy. Only to you do I extend the courtesy of a warning. My past and my secrets are my own. You do well to remember that. It's a good thing you've got brains, Silence, because your personality could use some work. This discussion is concluded. I think it was over before it began. Catch up with you down the trail. And there we are. Nice for Silence to poke his fucking nose in again, so... Yeah. I think... Ooh. Oh yeah, I can return to Varjo for the forge fire, and then I've got out of the forge to go and kill five fire claws. Is that somewhere around here? Scorch sign. No. Oh, they're over there. Well, some of them are, I think. Yes, yeah, fire claw sites all over the place now by the looks of it. But that's going to be something for me to do in my spare time, I think. Let's get back to Song's Edge. Now this has been damn good fun. I've really enjoyed my time with the uh, Frozen Wilds. Very enjoyable to come back to this and to just get to play a little bit more. Uh, I'm really looking forward to when uh, Forbidden West comes out. I think that's going to be really interesting to play through. I'm really interested to see where Aloy's story is going to go from here. Obviously we know Silence is going to be involved in things as he's always just going to be hanging around I think. Until he gets an arrow in the back of the head. <laughs> but even that probably wouldn't kill him. I don't know. He'd find, his, find a way to upload himself into a fucking long leg or something. Hello. But I'm going to wrap this video up here. Along with this series, it's been a damn good run. And I hope you've all enjoyed it, because I certainly have. If you enjoyed this video, do check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays on Metal Covers. And give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, do subscribe to the channel, and maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield, signing off. Fucking Jesus. <laughs> Had all those pickups and it did me no favors.